Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and today I'm gonna be filming my homemade squishies. So yeah, and I know I have been filming a lot. So yeah, but anyways, I did get a new layout. So yeah, hope you guys like this one. So let's get started. Okay, so I will be filming it by the old ones, and the old ones I mean by as acrylic, because I did use acrylic before, and I know not to use it anymore, because it is really bad actually, so you guys shouldn't use acrylic. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so my first squishy is this little duck mochi. I tried to, this is inspired by Neko Princess, but this is a, I made this out of nail polish actually, and it was really bad. So yeah, and it's not that squishy. Yeah. And with that, I also made a little piggy one. Sorry, my camera's not focusing. And this one is actually really squishy, but it is kind of rough. Well, it's not that squishy, but yeah. Okay, next I made this. Hello Kitty Cream Puff. Oh, I tried to make it. And the bow is made out of um, puffy paint, so this part is squishy. So yeah. And and I glued two sponges together, and that was really bad of me to do, because I glued it with hot glue, and it's super hard. So yeah. And it's, it's kind of cracking, if you see right there. But it's not even that squishy. What's... Well, it's not so rising. And I added some powder. Like sugar. Powdered sugar. And next I made this Pat Cat Cracker. And this one doesn't look that nice. And I'm sorry for the background noise. But it's I it's not that surprising. And it cracks. Next, I made this. I made this really cool my ice cream. And if you guys seen this on my squishy update, yeah, I tried to um, replicate that one on my other video. It's not that squishy. And it's rough. Next, I made this like mini toast. So, I th this is inspired by Neko Princess and Squishy Boba Forever. And this is hot glue, which is very bad because it is very hard. So, yeah. Next, I made this mini face blend, which is not squishy at all. Well, it is, but like, it's not surprising. Sorry, my camera's not focusing. Then I made this three peas in a pod. Well, now it's two peas in a pod because I lost the third pea. And this is inspired by Ketchup Geary. This is a sock, so yeah. This is the really happy one. This is the really sad one. Focus. So yeah. Next, I made this pom pom peeled in melon bun inspired by ketchup beauty so this is the tag this is my favorite part about the squishy i don't like the squishy in general i just like the tag and i did laminate it so it is not squishy at all and it's really rough so yeah and it's kind of scary to me but hers came out like 10 times better than mine, a uh, hundred times better than mine. And yeah. 
Okay, next I have this tiger bun from Puni Maru I decided to make. And this one didn't come out good at all. And I am gonna make another one of these. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make the same one, but I'm gonna make it way nicer with puppy paint. But yeah, this one isn't squishy at all. It is very small. Okay, so next I made this Bretto. And I think this is called Cocoa Banana or something like that. And I made this with color paint. So, yeah. And although acrylic paint is more cheaper, puppy paint is a little better. Next, I made this onigiri. Kind of like a musubi, if you know what that is. And it is very squishy. Yeah, I made this out of acrylic paint, if you can tell. So yeah, because it's cracking. Next, I made this Bretto. Bretto macaron or macaron, however you want to pronounce it. And this is very squishy. And I also made a couple of them. And I think this one is called Rosie, but I'm not too sure. Because I don't know all their names, so I made a couple more. I know this one is called Teeny. He's so cute. I have Lemony, I think. These ones are really squishy, but they crack. This one is Gingery, I think. And I don't know the name of this one. And I think there's a couple more. I don't know. So it's super slow right there. Next, I made this Royal Self Mini Low. I love the packaging. And this one is actually a pretty squishy in packaging. So, see how so rising that is? Because uh, the air is trapped in here, and I tied it really tight, but in general, it's just like that, see? But in packaging, can you guys hear the air? Mm. Yeah. Okay, my last two acrylic paints are this Rilakkuma or Rilakkuma Honey Toast. And this one is very squishy. But as you can see, the paint is actually very matte. And it's actually pretty big and thick. Next, I attempted to make a Punimao Dumbo strawberry. And the air will come out so it makes kind of weird noises. But it is really squishy. So yeah. Okay, moving on to my puffy paints. These are my newer ones. So yeah, you may have seen these ones in my collection because I decoed those and so they used to be squishies. So yeah, but first I have this cake. The top, this is not that squishy because I decoed this one. So this one's hard, but the top is very squishy. ones this we need a prune and a uh, mini mouse next I have this little heart this little random heart I made this one is really squishy So yeah, and um, I also made this, this album donut, and this used to be uh, acrylic until I repainted it with puppy paint and I got more squishy, 
the packaging. I hand drew it off. It's really squishy. And I also hand drew the Bredo packaging and the Pump Pump here in squishy, um, squishy tag. And all the packagings. All the packaging I got on my head. This is what it looks like. It is really squishy. Next, I made this Chawa Melon. Here's the back. Here's the mascot. And this one is very squishy. It has the melon baby or whatever. This one is very slow rising. So yeah. Next, I made this bear school. This is one of my favorite ones. Because it is very cute and it is very squishy. So yeah. Then I made this, these three popsicles, and one of them you guys probably have seen in my last video, this one, but yeah, I decoed it, or just on this little strip of chocolate, but yeah, that's all I did, so I didn't really deco it that much. Next, I made this Mamagoma. This is all homemade. Okay, this one, I decoed it. And you guys didn't see this one. I don't think I saw this one. But yeah, this used to be a regular popsicle that used to be kind of hard. And it wasn't that cute, so yeah. Now it has, oops. It has a little chocolate filling on the side and it has a strawberry filling. And I cut the ear on myself. So yeah. Next is one of my top favorite ones I decoed. It is this Hello Kitty donut. This one is very squishy. And in my um home and squ in my squishy collection video, I actually didn't have all my squishies in it because the video was too long. But here I have this other one that I showed you guys. And yeah. I I made this Bredo donut. I think this is cherry swirl, I think. This one's very squishy. Next, I made this Cafe Yen cake roll. It's also very squishy. And I made this, I was trying to make the mochi bunny uh, with the leaf ears. So yeah, I gotta finish it. Next, I decoed this. I didn't really deco it at all, but like, if you notice, there's a a little sugar, powdered sugar on top. But yeah. I made these two fruits. A cherry. And a... And a apple. So yeah. Next, I decoed this melon bun. And this is just... It has a drizzle of vanilla. And I have three more. I made this sushi one for my mom. It is a ahi sushi. This one's very squishy. Next, I just decoed this one. You guys probably have seen this one. This is not that squishy. And my last one, I made this one yesterday. And it is just like a little cookie. This one is squishy. So yeah, these are all my homemade squishies. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and bye!